There he is, the head of household, on his way back to travel across the oceans of the world to provide the needs of his family. The thought of money and living seems absurd to me as a child, since what I've always known for is a warm embrace and the quality time I get to spend with my family. This isn't the case when your father is a seafarer. Growing up, my papa's present has not been very consistent. It pains me so much that almost the entirety of my childhood, my papa was not there. I have graduated elementary and high school, receiving awards as a way to give back to his effort and hard work to sustain our needs. To me, my father brought light to the table during our meals. Don't get me wrong though I love my mama, but I know she feels the same way, and tries to match her emotions by improving the mood. My mood gradually changes over time. I tend to forget how to contain the range I possess and act recklessly by disobeying my parents' requests, especially my papa's. I know in my gut that the attitude I am showing is wrong, but to me, it's as if like an outlet to express what I feel inside. I'm becoming a college student very soon, and I talked to mama about it. Do you already have a course in mind to take up in college? Ma, I want to be a seafarer, like papa. The entire time my college was held, as a Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation student, I have been through so much, and the only thought that comes to mind when I think of giving up is the outcome of my future. If I stop persisting and studying hard, I excelled in every class I took and I graduated with Latin honors. Why do you want to be a seafarer? I never imagined that this would be the life of seafarer. You get an endless amount of work to do. I get exhausted all the time and I'm struggling with the changes in my routine that I have at home. So, this is what my papa's life was like. This is not a job for faint-hearted. The reality of this occupation frightens me, as the thought of the limited access to signal in order to contact my family or friends haunts me from dusk until dawn. You feel the breeze when you take a walk outside of your cabin or working area. The blue waters that never fails to remind me that this is what I do now for a living, and I must make the most out of it. The blazing heat of sun causes my body to release really sweat, as I notice that I've been working relentlessly. It was a bit of work being on a massive vessel, and the idea that you are thousands of kilometers away from your loved ones. There are some occasions that you get reprimanded for not being able to get the job done. I never took the range heavily, instead, I used it to improve myself. My papa has experienced what I am facing right now, and it did not stop him because he had gone. His family's future is his priority, and I will always be grateful for that. I stand near the bow of the ship that I am boarding, in trouble. A sudden rush of thought came to me, I can do great things even though life has its perplexities. Unlike other people, my grounds for taking up this profession was based on the idea to getting to know what my papa had gone through, to provide the needs of his family. I want to delve deeper into his work and understand why he chose this profession. I wish I could have appreciated my father's hard work even more. I should have understood what life being a seafarer is with a family to support. Being a master mariner means you have to be great in service to the maritime field, and you are required to be present and temporarily leave those whom you love behind. The farewells are changed with welcomes, the sadness turns into joy. The more we understood the life of seafarers, the better we treasure their efforts. It shouldn't be like if ever you get accepted in this company, might I ask, does your father still work? No. He passed away four years ago. Father, I can see you
strong.